So in this video, I want to talk about the product rule for counting. Now, a couple of videos ago, uh, we looked at an example where we had two starters, three mains, and two desserts, and we worked out how many different combinations there were. And in that, we wrote out all of the possible options. Now, let's just imagine that we start off with just two desserts. Okay, so there are only two desserts to choose from, and I'm going to call them A and B. So, so far for this meal of one course, there is only two possible combinations, aren't there? Okay, we've got um, only two desserts to choose from. Okay, so not much choice. So, let's say now we add in uh, one main. So we're going to call the main C. Now, the main here will go before both A and B. OK. So we've still got just two options. OK. We've got one main, two desserts. OK. So we've got one main to choose from. We've got two desserts to choose from. OK. And one times two is two, of course. So let's say we had another main. Let's call it D. Now, we've got C, then A, and C, then B. So then we could have D, then A, and D, then B. OK? So now we've got two mains and two desserts. So we've got four possible combinations. Two times two is four. So let's add in another main. Let's say we've got three mains now, C, D, and E. So then we could have E, then A, or E, then B. So we have three mains, two desserts. Three times two is six possible options. Let's now add in a starter. Let's call it F. There is now one starter. So F would have to come before the main, wouldn't it? So F, 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 F. And of course, we would still just have six options here. One times three times two. OK. But if we add in another starter, let's call it G, we now have two starters. So we would have G, then C, then A, G, then C, then B, G, then D, then A, G, then D, then B, G, then E, then A, G, then E, then B. So we would now have 12 possible options here. 2 times 3 times 2 is 12. OK, so what you're seeing is that it is the products of the possible choices that we have. OK, and so that's quite a neat way of being able to check that you've got all of the possible variations that you have. Now, we can trade this up to uh, different scenarios as well. So let's say that we have two dice. Uh, let's say that they are fair six-sided dice. Um, the first one has uh, faces saying one, two, three, four, five, and six, and so has six possible options on it. The second one has one, two, three, four, five, six, so six possible options on it. And so in total, there are going to be six times six possible combinations of scores. So that includes a 1 and then a 1, a 1 then a 2, a 1 then a 3, a 1 and a 4, 1 and a 5, 1 and a 6, 2 and a 1, 2 and a 2, 2 and a 3, 2 and a 4, etc. And so there are 36 possible options altogether. Okay? And if I had three die, or three dice, then it would be 6 times 6 times 6. So, don't know that one off the top of my head. 
So 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. So there'll be 216 possible options there. Okay? So this way of being able to multiply your way through um, is uh, not only an excellent way of checking this product rule of counting, um, but is also your way to answer more complicated problems.